The verse for today is taken from John chapter 8, verses 31 to 42. But I'm concentrating on verse 31. If you continue in my word, you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Jesus links freedom to faith in him and his message. It is the good news that assures us that God cares for us and loves us as we are, whatever the situation. It tells us love is the royal road to a free life, a full life. This also means being free from all dark deceptions. There is much to ponder over in this. Jesus' hearers were puzzled about becoming free since they thought they were never slaves. His answer to them applies to us all. Everyone who commits sin is a slave to sin. The basic sin is not to accept him, the Son of God. Jesus points out to the Jews that even if they agreed and regard Abraham as their spiritual father, they do not have his spirit. They could not grasp at all that he had been sent by the Father and all that was implied in that. Jesus' promise is that the truth will make us free. We do want to be free, so let us listen to those who tell us the truth about ourselves. Let us listen also to the word of God, which try to reach into our heart and liberate us. But let us start with the great truth of which Jesus tried to convince us, that we are endlessly loved by God. Jesus wants to lead us into the truth so that we may be free. If we truly desire freedom, we need to be ready to accept the truth. There is nothing threatening or accusatory here. It is about being known fully and loved, loved deeply by God. The acceptance of the indwelling of God in our hearts is a privilege, a privileged place of home for us. From the experience of this indwelling, we can be constantly at home in wherever place we are and whichever company we are placed in. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, we pray that you grant us the ability to listen to your word and take them to heart. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer.